Welcome. I'm going to be teaching a low poly hair tutorial. This is for absolute beginners. So we're going to be making our hair from our original mesh. So you can go ahead and click control one in order to isolate our object. In order to enter selection mode for the faces um, of your model, go to the empty space and hit right click drag onto faces. Now we start selecting the shape that we want for our hair. In order to select multiple faces, hold shift and left click. You want to select the general shape of the hair. Don't worry about the details for now. If you need to deselect, you can hold control and click left on your mouse. Good. When you're happy with your mesh, use the extract tool. This will divide the original mesh away from your selection. If you want to bring back the rest of your mesh, hit control one again. Okay, if you've done everything correctly, you should be able to lift your selection with the move tool. We're actually gonna use a clone of the selection instead. Trust me. So using your move tool, hold shift and then pull on the yellow arrow upwards. Now it's time to manipulate your hair. The best way to manipulate your hair is to use the move and scale tool. Here I'm actually using a combination of the face tool to select the faces of the bottom layer and then the move tool to lengthen it. After you've done your after you've done your general manipulation, you can use vertex point tool to further detail it. Right click, drag to find vertex. If you're interested in symmetry or you want to turn it off, you can go here. The last step is to extrude or thicken the hair. This will give it a 3D shape. So at the top of the menu, we'll go to Edit Mesh and then Extrude. You'll have to use your scaling tool and just click and drag. and reposition the mesh and you're done. I really hope that you like my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.